Uh, hello everyone to another video of Abhirishi. Uh, today we'll be looking at a paper published at in 10, on 10 December uh, by a team of, um, of, of a lot of scientists working for the DES Dark Energy Survey Collaboration and the paper is titled Machine Learning Approach for uh, to study galaxy properties uh, and in that uh, especially we want to study um, this kind of uh, statistical distribution which is called joint redshift stellar mass property distribution and uh, to study uh, all of this kind of templates they are using the algorithm called random forest so let's get into it first of all um, what they are trying to do is they are trying to uh, show that this kind of uh, like probability distribution functions of joint redshift stellar mass um, so they they, are, they can uh, they can show that such uh, very accurate pdfs can be generated with the use of some kind of algorithms even when there are less uh, photometric bands so uh, the dark energy survey is a very big uh, uh, um, data set and in that there is the cosmos 2015 catalog so i'll just go there so cosmos 2015 uh, just contains a lot of photometric redshifted data of uh, like millions of sources like half million sources and in lot of bands so uh, there is a lot of big data set from that they took um, 10,600 test galaxies and uh, then uh, they tried to use uh, benchmark it against a, a template fitting code, a code that, that they call as uh, back pipes um, and then they tried to see that um, uh, using the algorithm and fine tuning it uh, and training it uh, to compute the PDFs prob probability distribution functions for millions of galaxies they were able to see some results that we'll be seeing and now we can see that they tried to use this um, uh, python package that is called as uh, galpro and we'll try and see what this python package is about so it's a very small package there are always uh, some packages written on top of another packages so this one is written on top of uh, scikit-learn so scikit-learn uh, is good statistical library uh, very easy to use uh, it has a lot of functions related to probability distribution functions and so on it also has its own random uh, forest function algorithm then there is job lib which is to save and load all these models and then h5py just to read and uh, read all these big image files from the ds so this is the small python package that they have written makes it easier so uh, there's i think so the one main function which is called galpro.model and which has um, you can uh, it is just a random function uh, just kind of they have uh, re retouched the function but uh, you can just input all the arrays and uh, you can save the model and uh, you can do it uh, rinse and repeat for all the other other uh, images too the 10600 images that they have taken so uh, this is an introduction they are talking about all the types of algorithms that have existed till now and uh, and uh, talking about their uh, this uh, probability density function which is uh, it has a lot of uh, this pdf has a lot of applications uh, so some of the applications are like determining the evolution of uh, stellar mass functions cross correlation function between galaxies and galaxy group understanding connection between uh, stellar mass and dark matter and uh, stellar to halo mass relation shmr so yeah a lot of uh, 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 applications uh, in enable to kind of predict this pdf so uh, it's good that uh, if you can automate this process because there are there's a lot of data set and um, there is a lot of things that can be done with the data set that we have currently so yeah they are just talking about random forest uh, you must be knowing if you are a scikit uh, uh, if you have used scikit before it's a supervised algorithm uh, it's based on ensemble learning it uses mini decision trees to make a prediction so it's a it's a type of a voting system internally that happens you can use it to classify you can use it for as a regression model but yeah i think so mostly it's used as a classification model there are a few uh, parameters in it that uh, this ensemble method has which is n uh, estimator a number of estimators uh, you can fine tune and tweak that then you have this um, the other one which is uh, maximum features and so on maximum depth 
so yeah they have taken the cosmos um, uh, data set 2015 which is a two degree square equatorial field um, and the the spectral bands that they have it's x-ray with both ground and space base uh, and um, there are almost two uh, million objects that on which they are trying to uh, uh, like the data set is completely covering two million sources so um, this uh, they now they are talking about uh, all this uh, technical things about how the data set is exactly corrected and how all these templates are made so, uh, so yeah that's all the pre pre processing of this cosmos 2015 data must be some re uh, normalization or some kind of noise cancellation and so on we don't want to get into the details of it so um, they use uh, this gal pro which is using this scikit-learn function and it is using random forest regressor function so um, what kind of results that they had is uh, they plotted a log plot between uh, this uh, normalized and unnormalized uh, and for uh, redshift and stellar mass respectively so the true redshift and stellar mass so yeah you want to determine the mass of the entire 2 million objects using redshift and using this kind of um, pdf so uh, this is some kind of plot that they're trying to uh, use to see the accuracy and then some more uh, statistical things that they tried out and finally um, we have this uh, graph which is the diagnostic plot for a benchmarking performance of this uh, the function that they use in calpro on this uh, test data set and against they compared it against uh, this bagpipes template uh, and in that um, they kind of saw that okay this pit and co pit this uh, kind of uh, two things the the it is varying from zero to one so this is the very technical term called co pit which is copula probabil probability integral transform so they they that is the way of uh, validating the data set that's how they plan to validate the data set and so yeah against that they uh, plotted out 0 to 1 using these two algorithms and they kind of see that okay this galper algorithm is uh, basically just uh, being able to fine tune and train much easier uh, than this uh, previous bagpipes template matching so so uh, so they found out that okay uh, this kind of uh, experimental setup is good and uh, they used even a s very simple consumer uh, uh, hardware to train the random forest which is like just 2.4 gigahertz i5 processor with 16 gb ram so that's uh, like very very easy to train so that's a way that's a like they are just trying to show that if you have a 2 million source uh, object uh, data set and you want to kind of get some useful um, like trained pdfs out of it uh, it's possible even with consumer um, laptops and simple python packages so yeah this summarizes up the paper um, there are a lot of uh, things that can be possible with dark energy survey project that was started in 2013 so yeah stay tuned for more um, papers on uh, image processing and uh, astrophysics. Thank you.